Okay, today we're not going to go over our review cards. We're going to go ahead and go ahead into our lesson. Um, these are your spelling words, spelling the seven. Um, make sure you study these every day. Tomorrow is your spelling test. Go to your high frequency worksheet. Go to number one, spelling sound review. Echo after me. Number one. Uh, you, two is sh, s, h, t, h, number four, w, w, h, number five, u, uh, O O. Six is O. O O. Seven A. A consonant E, comma A. Number eight E. E E, comma E. Final E E. And then I. I. Okay, now for our review words. Number 10, hood. H O O D. Number 11, feet. F E E T. Number 12, Cave. C A V E. Sight words number thirteen were. W E R E. Number fourteen your. Y O U R. And number 15, could. C-O-U-L-D. Your sentence for today is, where are the ducks that were in the pond? So capital W, where, W-H-E-R-E, -E, are, A-R-E, so where are the ducks that were in the pond? What type of sentence is this? What are we going to end it with? A period, a question mark, or an exclamation point? That's right, a question mark. It is a question. It has the where question word. Okay? It is asking a question. Okay, now let's go to our lesson. Echo these words and listen to the sound in the final position. Milk. Task. Stink. What sound do you hear in the final position? K, the k sound, right? What letter is making that sound? The K, exactly. So look at the letter right before the K in each word. So this letter right before the K in each word. What do those letters have in common? They are consonants. They're all consonants. So how do we spell the final K sound when it comes after a consonant? With a K. Listen to some other words that end with the K sound. Book. Peak. Look. Look. 
what do the letters before the K have in common in these words? Okay, so the final letter are all K's in these words, and they all have digraphs. So the OO digraph, digraph EE, -E, and digraph OO. They're vowel digraphs. These are all that vowels. So they're vowel digraphs. So how do we spell the final K sound when it comes after a vowel digraph? with a K. So I'm going to add this information to our final K spelling rule wall card so you can check your spelling when you hear the A K in the final position. Okay, who remembers how we spell the final K sound when it comes after a short vowel? So when after a short vowel you hear the K, how do you spell the word? With a C K. Okay, so we've now learned two spellings for the final k sound. Here's our rule card now. Final k spelling rules. A ck after a short vowel, we have already learned this, as in black, duck, or lock. And then a k after a consonant or a vowel digraph, like in milk, book, and wheat. So now we know that if we have a consonant or a vowel digraph, we end it with a K. And if we have a short vowel with a K sound, we end it with a CK. Okay, and if you forget about this rule, don't forget about your student spelling dictionary. So you can look up that rule. Remember, the first page, it has vowel rules, spelling rules. Maybe it's going to be under spelling rules, page 51. So we have the K and C spelling rules, the final K spelling rules right here. So C, K, K, we'll eventually talk about K, E, and the C. Okay, so that's your spelling rule for the final K sound. Let's go ahead and go to your worksheets. On the back of this, Okay, let's do your new sounds and words. That's right. So your new sounds and words, echo after me, is k. Now we're going to say, we're going to write it as k comma c, final digraph c k, comma k. Okay, it's getting longer. So a k and a c can make the k sound in the medial or initial part of the word, and in the final position of the word, you can have CK or K. Your new words, number two, look, L-O-O-K. Number three, dark, D-A-R-K. And number four, back, B-A-C-K. Okay, we put a C-K because this A is a short vowel. We only put a K because this is a vowel digraph and this is a consonant. These words here, practice reading them and spelling them and write a sentence using a couple of those words. Now going to your worksheet. You have the spelling with C, K, and K. Your rule is right here. So when spelling the final K sound, C, K is found after a short vowel, K is found after a consonant or vowel digraph. So on all of these words, you're either ending the word with a K or with a C, K. So I have a vowel digraph here. Do I end it with a C, K or a K? A K, because in my rule, if I look back up here, K is found after a consonant or a vowel digraph. Right here I have a short vowel, 
How do I end it? With the CK. CK is found after a short vowel. So I have book, click, I have a short vowel here, a CK, black, a vowel digraph here. So if I have a vowel digraph, end it with a K. If I have the word weak, I have a consonant. If I have a consonant, I end it with a K. I have the word milk. Here's a short vowel here. Short vowel, end it with a CK. I have a vowel digraph here. Oh, this word is quick. Here's a vowel digraph, vowel digraph, end it with a K. I have the word shook. Here's another vowel digraph. We end it with a K with a vowel digraph. And I have cheek. Short vowel, short vowel, end it with a CK. And I have the word struck. Here is a combination AR, however, the R is a consonant, so I ended it with a consonant, I have a K. Park, a short vowel, if I have a short vowel, end it with a CK, and I have the word track. Yes, there's a short vowel here, however, this letter is the one we're looking at, the letter before the last one. So this is a consonant. So if it ends with a consonant, I end it with a K. Okay? And that is sunk. So you're only adding CK or K to the end of these words, following the rules. So on the back, it's the same thing. You have to look at the letters before the last letter. So if you have a consonant or a vowel digraph, you end it with a K. If you have a short vowel, you end it with a CK. Okay, so make sure you go through here and carefully either add a K or add a CK, looking at the letters right before the last letter. Okay, and that's it for today.